Quality five. What do you mean when you say divine truth itself with all the power and knowledge it ha that it has at, as its foundation will not compel a man to accept it against his will? Well, firstly, we need to acknowledge in this particular quality that divine truth is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Mm. It, it, is, it, is, it is the way in which the entire universe operates, in fact. Every single law that governs the operation of the universe is a divine truth, is a God's truth. It is an absolute truth, a universal truth. And because of that, it has a huge amount of power at its disposal. The, all the power of God is behind these truths that are all God's truths. Mm -hmm. So we need to firstly understand that, that these truths are unimaginably uh, un powerful. However, because God gave humankind this gift of free will, God does not use this power in order to manipulate the will of humans. Mm. All God does is govern the entire universe with this power, but allows humans to make a choice to bring their truth, their knowledge into harmony with divine truth, or to live out of harmony, either knowingly or ignorantly, with God's truth. So God's truth never forces itself upon humanity. God's truth is encouraging humanity to discover it, and God's truth doesn't compromise the rest of the universe by allowing humanity to have free will. Mm -hmm. But it does allow humanity to decide what to do in its sphere, in its sphere of operation. So wherever humanity lives, whether it be here on earth or in the spirit dimensions, they have the choice to bring themselves into harmony with God's truth or not. Yeah. And God will never force them to bring themselves into harmony with God's truth. Mm -hmm. God will even never force them to, do, to, to have to discover divine truth. Yeah. God will just wait until we take, have desire and take the opportunity to discover divine truth. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important quality of God's truth in that it doesn't work against this gift of free will. God has given humanity the gift of free will and as such always honours this gift and the truth itself, the universal truth, honours the gift of mankind's free will. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow mankind's free will to break the laws of the universe without consequences. Yeah. But it does allow mankind to exercise their will out of harmony with love if they wish to. Of course, it always has negative consequences. But, but he is allowed to do it. Mankind is allowed to do it. And God will never force mankind to change. Yeah. God only educates us through this process. Yeah. yeah. And so if we personalise that, we can make a stand for divine love and divine truth. But the minute we're going to fight for it, we've actually abandoned both. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as we start to fight for what we believe is true, whether that's verbally fight, emotionally fight, or physically fight mm -hmm. for what we believe is true, whether we are, when I say verbally fight, I mean be angry and upset about what we believe is true, project upon other people our rage, then what we're doing is we are compromising this attribute of divine truth. So therefore, we're not in harmony with it. Yeah. God's truth doesn't do that. God doesn't yell and scream at us every time we break one of God's laws. God doesn't yell and scream of us even if we're going to break one of God's laws. And God doesn't yell and scream of us at us after we've broken one of God's laws even. Yeah. God just educates us through this process where divine truth is immovable. It always will have consequences as, as another quality of, its, of, the, of it that we'll learn later. And as a result, it doesn't need to yell and scream and it doesn't need to fight and it doesn't need to push us around. It doesn't need to do anything because by itself it is immovable. Yeah. It is the, one of the most powerful forces in the universe aside from God's love. Mm. And as such, it has a huge amount of power to change us and, to change, and, and the entire oper uni, operation of the universe is dependent upon it. And, and so once we respect that, that it will not break this 
underlying feeling of love, which is a feeling of, I am not going to manipulate your will. I'm not going to control your will. I'm not going to passively or aggressively attempt to change your will. I'm just going to ask you to change your will. Yeah. Once we understand that, we would never engage in any activity that would result in damaging another person through the exercise of truth. Now, if you think about how that applies to religious, religious, most religious institutions on the earth, religious institutions have a terrible history of forcing themselves to, to even murder and do many things, torture and murder, in order to impose themselves upon another nation or another people. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is an indication that most of human religion is actually forgetting this underlying truth about God, about God and about what, how God's created the universe. Okay, do you want to talk about some more examples in the next question? Yeah, we'll do yeah. the examples in yeah. the next question. If we yeah. look at the flavour of it in this question, that would be good. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, I think you've pretty much covered, covered everything. Covered most of that. Yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Good. Okay.